This is the Redeemed Christian Church of God, Covenant Chapel. A place where destiny is redeemed and dominion is restored. May God bless you as you listen. Testimonies time. We have three testifiers here today. We have brother Olawale, brother Emmanuel, sister Ayo. Let's give them a round of applause as they come. Praise the Lord. One of the reasons why we testify is that it propels the testifier to greater heights. Want to get to the greater heights, you have to testify. David testified. He said, I killed this bear. I did that. I did that. And when Goliath came unto him, you know, he destroyed him too. Praise the Lord. I want to testify to the goodness and mercy of God. I've been out of the province for quite some time. After I finished my program in Calgary, and I got recruited straight away to Winnipeg, but was not really uh, my desire to be away from the congregation, from my family. And I took the step of faith when I was coming back for December. I packed all my things in my trunk, and I drove down to Toronto in anticipation and in trust that something better is going to come forth in Toronto for me, and I will stay back here. Uh, to the glory of God, I got uh, six interview requests between December 16 and last week. I, I attended four. Thank you, Jesus. I personally rejected one. <laughs> and uh, two were prominent. So one of the prominents have not called me, but one called me last week. And that uh, everything went well. Amen. And uh, I am back fully in the house of God. Hallelujah. You are welcome, sir. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Indeed, the Lord is good. All the time. And I want to join all the testifiers and everyone that's come out on this altar to say there's God in this church. Hallelujah. Um, last year, July, I got a job. And uh, I came here to give thanks, uh, thanks to Almighty God. And before the end of that last year, I made a mistake. And I actually know it's my mistake. But I want to thank God about that. That mistake gave me a miracle, a testimony. Uh, it should be to my own disadvantage, but to God be the glory, it's be to my own advantage. And it got to a time that every day, every time, my supervisor keep on asking me, hi, what do you want? And how love, I'll look at every night. I don't want anything. But last week, I gave them a request, and I'm standing here because I know by when I resume next week, it's going to be a testimony. Amen. Too. And I know I'm coming here again to give that testimony that the request has been granted. Amen. Um, secondly, I want to appreciate God because this month is my month. Uh, uh, on Thursday, by God's grace, I will be adding another here. God will be adding another to my I want to appreciate God for all what God has done for me. I want to appreciate God for where I'm coming from. I want to appreciate God for where I am today. And I want to give God all the glory for that greater height he's taking me to. Hallelujah. Because devil knows the greater height God is taking me to. And he doesn't want me to see this birthday. I had a accident last month. But I want to give God all the glory because I'm hell and I Even though my car damaged. But I want to give God all the glory because I'm alive today. Hallelujah. Praise ye the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, I'm going to left with 30 seconds, so add it to my mm, No. <laughs> I, I am here thanking God for what he has been doing in my life, uh, in the life of my beautiful wife, uh, and, uh, in the life of my children as well. Um, for the year 2014, sometimes I just look back and say, every day during the winter time when I, I live at Whitby, when I travel that road, is either there is accident on the way or there is accident on the other side of the road. And this is the road I apply every day, 365 days, sometimes twice in a day, because I still walk down here in Toronto. So I sum everything up and I see that God is great. Yeah. And uh, again, God has added another year to my beautiful wife. Hallelujah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Always like to stand here and talk. Every of her talk is my head at home, so I am here to speak <laughs> on her behalf. I really, really thank God uh, for the wonderful wife he has given unto me. Hallelujah. And uh, for my children, 
they are so wonderful. And uh, God is doing marvelous things in their life. Hallelujah. And uh, I want to thank God again that uh, this year, as I was returning from work, uh, Port Perry area, for what reason, I don't know, maybe I was over speeding, more than the speed there. <laughs> Uh, but my wife, my family know me. I don't speed. I don't speed. I don't really know what happened. I overshoot the road and went into the forest. Two seconds more. No. <laughs> and uh, I got uh, my, this is the most important aspect of it. My tire deflated and everything. I came out and I was thinking, what am I going to do? And uh, I, I, my phone is moving. I can't call CA. But from nowhere, a woman came and she, she parked mm. and it, I approached her because I don't want her to be saying, who did this man see me before? <laughs> uh -huh. So I said, it's my car. So he said, okay, I will go home and call my husband. Mm. And the husband came. I stood. He removed the tire, put my extra tire, tied it back and gave me uh, the tool and said, drive safely. Then I begin to think, the word of God that said, who are my own, those that does my will. I will begin to ask myself, will I be able to do this to someone? Mm. You know, I ran a business mm. that we should not ignore. And this is what is required of us. Mm. Though, uh, I thank God for everything. Hallelujah. 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 Brethren, let's stand up to thank God. Let's praise God. Let's worship God. Let's adore him. Let's magnify his holy name. Father, we thank you. 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 We give you praise. We give you honor. Lord, we appreciate you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for all these testimonies. We worship you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name, O Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be your holy name, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have given thanks. I just something just came to my mind. As many of us that get new jobs, please let us remember to pay our tithes. It is very, very important. Pay your first fruits and your tithes. It is very important. Let's lift these ones onto the hand of Almighty God. Because the one that testify get to greater heights. The reason why we testify is that we want to encourage others and we want to go to greater heights. Let's cry out to God Almighty as this one testify. Father, Lord, lift them up. Father, lift them up. Give them reason to praise you continually. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, give them reasons. Give them reasons to praise you continually. Lord, we worship you. We adore you. We magnify your holy name. Thank you, Father. We give you praise. We give you honor. We seal up this testimony by the blood of Jesus. Father, let it be permanent concerning them. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Is someone excited to be in the house of God this morning? Hallelujah. We have a song for you this morning, and it's a song to lift up the name of God. It's a Thanksgiving Sunday, and we have chosen a song. Um, it's partly in English and in one of our Nigerian languages, people. The song says, God who is holy, there is none like you. Um, I cannot completely translate everything, but when you hear Uso, Uso, it means holy. And Mama means that God is good. Hallelujah.
Maturugi Mama, I will give you praise. Oh, Koro Diabima. Find you that is good. Yes. Handsome man, find you that is good. Praise God. Show ye Jomenu. The God with whom I boast. 
I do what? I boast. Hallelujah. You will boast in this God. Amen. Receive praise, receive adoration. Praise the Lord. Come on, give it all to Him today. Worship Him. Praise Him. Thank you, Lord Jesus. First, I give you two more. Father, we thank you. We give you all the glory. We receive all this praise. Thank you for this awesome day. Thank you for this glorious day. Thank you for this marvelous day. None like you, none can compare with you. Thank you for what you have started gloriously, wonderfully, excellently in the destinies of every one of the children. Blessed be your name. Thank you, Most High God. Thank you, O Most High God. Well, just lift up your hands to Him. Because I believe in this month of February, your expectations shall be met gloriously. So, in anticipation, I want you to just wave to him. Say, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, King of glory. Thank you. Almighty Father, we thank you. You are the one that holds power, all power. Oh, you, Jiki. You You hold all the power. All the power. We thank you. Not only are you, do you hold all the power, you are also holy. Yes. Only this, sir. Yes. Yes. You are very holy. Hallelujah. You don't compromise your holiness. Lord, we thank you. Thank you Lord. We exalt you. Hallelujah. Oh, Lord Jesus, thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you Most High God. Almighty Father, King of glory, Lord of lords. Bless your children, mighty Lord. Amen. Glory be to your holy name. In Jesus' name. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Amen. And please, you may be seated in his presence. Amen. I want us to be able to dance and rejoice mightily. Thank you, this spring. Thank you. Let's put our hands together for them. Amen. Praise God. Praise the Lord. Okay, give me a little bit of trouble. It's a bit deep. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. This is going to be an awesome season in your destiny. In Jesus' name. Praise God. Uh, the month of February is a month of fruitfulness. In every way, in all ramifications, you shall be fruitful. Paraventure, somebody is thinking that our fruitfulness is only about having a child or children. It goes beyond that. In every way, heaven will bless you mightily. Praise God. Praise the living Jesus. You know, God on high is mighty. I thank God for all the wonderful testimonies I've had. Maybe I will be able to share one or two. But one very astounding, very astounding because the person mentioned that if you're talking about maybe 
uh, a burger company, you know, you know McDonald's very well. You know, if you're talking about um, maybe a car company, even you like German engineering, you say you're talking about a Mercedes Benz, Daimler, Chrysler, or whatever. In the industry of this individual, she mentioned the fact that she had been looking at this company. Resume on LinkedIn or wherever. At the time, she, maybe she's even applied at the company. But about uh, two weeks or there about ago, she was just going through, and she found out that some positions were there. She says the first one that she saw, and please take note, I always tell you, don't aim for the lowest. She says she saw one assistant vice president. She says, ah, I'm not qualified. So she saw some other positions lower down. She applied for that one. She had the interview and everything. She didn't interview for the assistant vice president role. But when they said, you've been given this job, and they called that this is what you have been, he said, no, 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 you made a mistake. <laughs> Say, yes, that's what we have given you. He said, put it in writing so that it's <laughs> praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus Hallelujah. this week. Hallelujah. This week. Another person was sharing with me a testimony yesterday while in the car said, did you hear about this lady's testimony? I said, no. He said, she can never forget that she came to this church. January 31st, um, you know who I'm talking about. She was here for a crossover service. January 31st, she got a letter, you know, in less than two weeks that she's been given, a, what do you call it, green card in the USA. But you know that when she came here, number one, she wasn't supposed to come because that destroys the process of the, of the green card. Her passport expired. She, the green card approved or not given, visa to go back to the USA, she did not have. <laughs> she got to the the place, they said, we can't even carry you. But one way or the other, she was transferred to the immigration side of things. Said, do you know you are not supposed to do this? Do you know you are not supposed to do this? Do you know you are not supposed to do this? Say, when she will want to defend herself, the person will say, don't say anything. Do you know you are not supposed to do this? You are not supposed to do this. When she wants to defend herself, say, don't say anything. And after what she said, get, you can go. <laughs> not just go and go. Because for her to get those things, certain things, because we are here, you know, we don't know where this will get to. That's why I'm also careful not mentioning the name, you know. Certain things that she ought to do that individual immigration officer bypassed all the processes. <laughs> Corrected everything on this, right there. Say, don't say anything. Psst. Don't say anything. Psst. Don't say. She was just correcting everything, correcting everything. The, this is now settled.
And that is how heaven is going to settle you gloriously. Amen. If one person came here for the first time, and she got those multitude, the day she was here, the week she was here, everything changed concerning her. I am sure everything is going to change gloriously Amen. for your destiny. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Amen. There is at least one person here on or before Friday. You are going to get three mighty testimonies. Three. 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 <laughs> we are others for somebody where others are not able to get to. You are getting there. Be taking note. We are a hand of fellowship is not extended to anybody. I see the hand. It's extended to somebody. Yeah. That which somebody has been waiting for. God, you know I'm not speaking of myself. Somebody is getting it. Yeah. Listen to this, oh, because this is unusual. Where others are being turned back, others, are, no, 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 you can't pass this way. The, nobody will be able to stop you. Yeah. Concerning the destiny of somebody, there's a green light. Amen. No more red light. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Listen. Concerning somebody else, there is unusual strength for exploits. For somebody, gradually, your health has been going down. But as from this moment, there is a surge of life. Yeah. Every time you go to the doctor, it has been successive bad news. Health going down, health going down, health going down. But with unusual strength, I saw heaven feeding somebody. Yeah. Every negative thing is corrected. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Please be seated. Father, we thank you. Genesis chapter 41. We're just going to be brief. We're going to dance. Genesis chapter 41, verses 51 to 52. Genesis 41, 51 to 52. We see a story here. My time for fruitfulness. My time for fruitfulness. We see the name of somebody being introduced to us and Joseph. Joseph called the name of the firstborn Manasseh. For God said he had made me forget all my toil and all my father's house, the first. We came into the month of January expectantly. Maybe there were some challenges in the year 2014. What God has used January to do in our destiny is to forget our toil. Amen. 
But you can't totally forget a toil if you are still staying at the same level. The pain might not be there, but if unto us relief does not replace the pain, one way or the other, you will still be referring to the pain. That was one of the reasons why when Jesus Christ met the man with the, with, with the woman with the issue of blood, he didn't give her healing, he gave her wholeness. So that she will be able to forget her toil, her sickness. Because if the sickness was, you know, at that time, she had spent all. So if she is whole, she might do certain things. See, if she is just healed, she might do certain things that will make her to revert to sickness. So heaven gave her wholeness. Praise the Lord. So when Joseph had the first child, said, God had made me to forget my toil. Thank you, Lord. I thank you for that. But when the second one came, the Bible says he called the name Ephraim. For God had caused me to be fruitful in the land of my affliction. Amen. Though the first one came, there was still a measure of affliction. But when the second one came, affliction was totally taken away. The Bible tells us in Psalm 34, verse 17. Psalm 34, verse 17. The Bible talks about crying to the Lord and God doing something, delivering out of all troubles. In verse 19 of that same 34, the Bible says, Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. Amen. And in verse 20, the Bible says, Even not one of his bones, he kept all his bones, not one of them is broken. In this month, you will see heaven in a new dimension. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you. In Genesis chapter 41, verse 51, the Bible says, Joseph. Who is this Joseph? Who is this Joseph? Of course, we know he's the, uh, what's his name? He's the son of Jacob. But in Genesis chapter 45, verses 7 to 8, Genesis chapter 45, verse 7 to 8, introducing Joseph, the Bible says, he said, God sent me before you to preserve you a posterity in the earth and to save your lives by a great deliverance. So now it was not you that sent me hither, but God and he had made me a father to Pharaoh and Lord of all his sources and a ruler throughout all the land of Egypt. God sent me before you. I want to tell you that, as I always say, God is always ahead in every situation. There could have been challenges or there are still challenges. But God has sent you ahead because of where he's taking you to. Amen. In Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 23, the Bible says, God brought us out to bring us in. There is a, going to be a bringing out before there will be a bringing in. There is going to be what? A bringing out before a bringing in. God is taking you to a level according to that Genesis chapter 45 verse 8 that he will make you a father. A father. That is, many will come to you and say, listen, listen. We need your counsel. We need what you have. We need your wisdom. We need your resources. God will not make you a lame father. 
God will not make you a penniless father. Amen. God will not make you a beggarless, beggarly father. Amen. When God wants to do an awesome thing, it might see as if there are some little, little bits of challenges here and there. And Joseph. Once again, who is this Joseph? In Psalm 105, verse 17, the Bible says he sent a man before them. Quoting Genesis chapter 45, verse 7 to 8. Psalm 105, from 17. He sent a man before them, even Joseph, who was sold for his servant. We are going to about 22. Who feed the heart with fetters? He was laid in iron. Challenges. Until the time that his word came, the word of the Lord tried him. And that self same word delivered him. Because the king sent and lose him. Even the ruler of the people and let him go free. Verse 21. He made him lord of his house and ruler of all his substance to bind, I love that, to bind his princes at his pleasure. And teach his senators wisdom. By the mercy of God, by the power of the most high God, I'm telling you, where you are, God is taking you to. People will look at you Amen. and say, We used to know this individual. Amen. Because in this season, there is going to be unusual promotion. Yeah. Unusual elevation. Yeah. Listen, and Joseph, thank you, Lord. <laughs> I'm confirming your good news. Amen. I am confirming your good news. Amen. The Bible says, when Joseph was called out of prison, it was because Pharaoh had a dream. Not one dream, two dreams. And when Joseph interpreted the dream, he said, this dream, they are one and the same. The reason why God gave you the dreams is because God has put a stamp of authority approval that I'm going to do it. Are you in this sanctuary? Hear me clearly today. Are you in this sanctuary today? I, certain things were released in the course of this week. In, the, in, in this week, Monday to Sunday, you had two dreams about something. I want you to begin to rejoice. Because I told those that were around on Thursday that God is going to visit you. Amen. You are going to begin to hear certain things. Amen. All those that have had that certain thing, and most of them, twice, 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 twice. Settle. Amen. It, I'm confirming it. Amen. By the power of heaven. I'm confirming it by the power of heaven. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Who is this Joseph? The Bible says in Genesis chapter 49 verse 22. Genesis chapter 49 from verse 22. He said Joseph will be a fruitful bow. Even a fruitful bow by well. In this season of fruitfulness, you will never go dry. Amen. You shall be like a tree planted by what? Whose branches run over a wall. That is talking about exceeding fruitfulness. Verse 23, verse 23. Verse 23. The archers have sorely grieved him and shot at him and hated him. 
not knowing that they were taking him to his place of destiny. I'm here to speak prophetically into your destiny today. No matter what has been shot at you, just brush it aside. I told you something at the beginning of this year. Genesis 28 verse 47. Serve God with joyfulness and gladness of heart. Don't let anything shake you. Don't allow your focus to be lost. Verse 24. Now, verse 24. Because we're almost getting there. We are getting to verse 26. I'm just going to share something. The message actually is in verse 25 and 26. And we'll wrap it up. Genesis chapter 49, please. But his bow abode in strength, and the arms of his hands were made strong by the hands of the mighty God of Jacob. From thence is the shepherd the stone of Israel. Now verse 25. Even by the God of thy father who shall help thee, and by the Almighty who shall bless you with the blessings of heaven above. One of the things that differentiates a man, a woman, is the source of his power. Many people in the quest to make it, they have entered into unholy alliance. But the Bible says here, it says, who shall, the Almighty who shall bless you with blessings of heaven above. It is the blessing from above that makes the supreme difference. James chapter 1 verse 17, the Bible says, every good and perfect gift, it comes from you, from the Father of light. It comes from the Father of light. The blessings, go back to Genesis 49, 25, blessings from above. May your destiny never lack blessings from above. Yes. You know, when there is blessing from above concerning a destiny, there is nothing anybody can do. In Numbers chapter 23, verse 20, Balaam said something. He said, God had asked me to bless, and he had blessed. Numbers 23, 20. It is God said I should bless. And I'm not the one that blessed. He, God, has blessed. Who can reverse it? God has blessed. Who can reverse it? The blessing of a, from above distinguishes any destiny. The blessing from above confers a touch not anointing upon your destiny. The blessing from above ensures that that blessing is preserved. Anybody that wants to tamper with the blessings from above, according to Exodus chapter 14 verse 14, the Lord fights for that person and the person even becomes scared. Oh, you are not here on Thursday. Oh, my God. God secures the life of the one that is enjoying the blessing from above. Why? Because he's not a man that should lie. He's not the son of man that will repent. In Psalm 89 from verse 20, you see the destiny of a man enjoying the blessing from above. He said, I found David my servant, with my holy oil have I anointed him. Verse 21 to 22, we are going to 22. He said, with whom my hand shall be established, my arm shall also strengthen him. 
my arm shall also stretch him. He now says that, listen, I will begin to defend him. Verse 22. The enemy shall not exact upon him. The son of wickedness shall not afflict him. Because he was minding his own business in the wilderness. And God said, listen, listen. Somewhere you are still crying over Saul. But I have found a man after my own heart. And I'm settling down with him with the covenant of salt. The Bible talks about the sure losses of David. The Bible talks, Bartimaeus was crying, was crying, was crying. We know in genealogy that Mary and Joseph are the parents of Jesus. But Bartimaeus started crying. And said, listen, listen, listen. Have mercy upon me. Have, uh, 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 Mark chapter 10, verses 46 to 52. Bartimaeus started crying. And when he started crying, he said, Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy upon me. You can go down 47, 48. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. Why? Because the blessing of heaven is upon him. Your destiny will never lack the blessing of heaven. Amen. Back to Genesis chapter 49, verse 25. Genesis chapter 49, verse 25. He said, Joseph, you are a fruitful bow, even a bow by a well. He said, the almighty God will bless you with the blessing of heaven above. He now says, the blessing of the deep that light under. Everything that you call natural blessing lies under. Oil lies under. Bauxite lies under. Gold lies under. Silver lies under. Dollar may fluctuate. CD or CD may come down and crash. Naira might have been paralyzed. Euro could be going here and there. They say there's something called pound sterling. It might lose its flavor. They say, Mama Charlie. <laughs> but you see, gold is always staying there. Gold is always staying there. He said, the blessing of the deep that light under. That blessing, okay, 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 hold on. That blessing in Isaiah chapter 45, Isaiah chapter 45 from verse 1. The Bible introduced a man to us by, by the name Cyrus. He said, I'm holding the hand of this man. He said, to subdue nations before him. And I will lose the loins of the kings. <laughs> hey, to open before him the two leaf gates. And the gates shall not be shut. But look at the interesting thing in verse 2. He said, I will go before thee. I will make every quiet place straight. I will make what? I will break in pieces the gates of brass and cut inside the brass of iron. Now verse 3. You see the blessing that lies under. And I will give thee the treasures of darkness. I will give you what? The treasures of darkness. The treasures that lies under. The treasures of darkness. Is here talking, or the blessing under, is talking about revelation. Wisdom of God. What others don't know that you know. What you know will always make you known. In Job chapter 29, Job was illustrating, giving an account of the kind of blessings that came upon him. The Bible tells us in Job chapter 29 verse 4. Talking about the wisdom of heaven. 
The secret of God. He had it. The secret of God, he had the secret of God. In Deuteronomy chapter 29, verse 29, the Bible talks about how God conceals things. But the things revealed, they belong to us and our children. Revelation, it makes a whole lot of difference. In 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 23, the Bible talks about Saul of Tarsus that became Paul. He was not there when Jesus Christ died in the, in the physical. But by revelation, he knew what transpired the night that Jesus Christ died. For I have received of the Lord that which also I delivered unto you, that the Lord Jesus, the same night in which he was betrayed, took bread. May your destiny never lack revelation. Yeah. The revealed things of God. Whatever we reveal to make your destiny glorious, may your destiny never lack it. Yeah. It was the revealed things that changed the life of Daniel. The king had a dream. The king forgot about the dream. But what happened? Daniel, he knew the dream. He was able to give the interpretation. And the Bible calls it excellent spirit. The blessing of the deep that light under. It also talks about Genesis chapter 14, verse 25. It talks about the blessing of the womb. The, oh, the blessing of the breast first. The blessing of the breast. You know, God is a breasted God. El Shaddai. When you begin to suck from the breast of the Almighty, you know, in the natural, the nursing mothers, the biologists, the chemists, the physicians, even with scientific experiment, manipulations and everything, it's been found out that the natural milk from the mother is still much more nutritious. Because there's something in it called colostrum that grants even immunity to the young to the, ba to the babies. So this God, when you begin to bless you with the blessing of the breast, there's a divine immunity that is conferred upon your destiny. Amen. That is why you are able to walk upon serpents, tread upon scorpions, and they are not able to hurt you because there's immunity. Because there's immunity. The El Shaddai. The Bible talks about the blessings of the womb. The blessings of the womb. In Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. Colossians chapter 2, verse, verses 9 to 10. Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 to 10. The Bible tells us that for in him dwelleth all the fullness of the Godhead bodily. And we are what? We are complete in him. The Bible talks about our life being hid in Christ. The Bible says you are the apple of God's eyes. Amen. So the one that we get to you, we first need to do what? Touch God's uh, eyes. The Bible says you are engraved on the palm of his hands. The blessings of the womb that confers protection. May your destiny never lack the blessing of the womb. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. In verse 26, it talks about the blessing of the Father. The blessing of the Father. Concerning the church in the wilderness. Genesis chapter 49, verse 26. The blessing of the Father. Concerning the church in the wilderness. The church in the wilderness. A father to them was Moses. 
a father to the church in the wilderness was Moses. It was because they had such a father that they were able to get wonderful blessings. For 40 years, they were receiving two wonderful meals. Heavenly meal called manna. There was flesh. They were not feeble. They did not need to change their clothes, but it did not grow old. It did not become Fred Bear. It wasn't stinking. Every time they wear it, today they can decide to wear, I want to wear double-breasted suit. Is anybody wearing double-breasted suit here today? Come on, my friend. <laughs> today I want to wear double-breasted suit. And that is how you will appear. Today I want to wear, come, 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 come. I want to wear three-piece suit. And you just appear with three-piece. Where are you going? <laughs> I just said, uh, oh, today I want to wear a, a, a flowing robe. Is there anybody like that? Come out. Come out, come out, come out. Today, as a lady, I want to wear flowing robe. Oh, tomorrow, I want to wear, I don't want flowing robe. I just want a, a robe, tie and something. Come out, come out, come out, come out, come out. And you just appear like that. You just appear like that. What are that clothes are we wearing? Tomorrow, I just want to wear a smart kaftan or something like that. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Come out, come out. Come out, come out. Stay there. And you begin to appear like that. You begin to appear like that. You will just want to wear a simple, maybe, skirt and blouse or something like that. Who is wearing skirt and blouse? You want to wear pants? Come out. You want to wear skirt and blouse? Who is wearing skirt and blouse here? Yeah. Come out, come out, come out, come out. Yeah, come out. You just appear like that. That is the almighty God that we are talking about. That is the king of glory we are talking about. The church in the wilderness, if the ministration that leads to death, that is, that is unrighteous, was very glorious, how can you compare the glory of such a time like this, of this kind of ministration that is embedded in Jesus Christ, the mediator of a better covenant? Please be seated. I want to show you a scripture and we we'll round up. God bless you. You know the church in the wilderness, we are getting somewhere now. We'll quickly round up. Let me find a scripture for you. Uh, I didn't know God will take us this way. So I hope I can find this scripture fast. Lord, help me. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. The Bible says, it's in the book of Corinthians now. The Bible tells us that they were all baptized unto Moses in the wilderness. Praise the Lord. They were baptized unto Moses in the wilderness. Amen. The church, as they were going, they were baptized unto him. Moses was carrying them. Moses was doing everything. Because why? According to Amos chapter 3, God will not do anything without revealing it to his servants, the prophets. And the Bible tells us in the book of Osea also that by a prophet, he led them. By a prophet, he also preserved them. Today is the day of your preservation. Yeah. Every day, you will see that when they want to go up, Moses will say, Arise. And let your enemies be scattered. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to rise up on your feet. Hallelujah. Because as from this day you are arising. Amen. Into a glorious destiny. Amen. You are arising. Amen. Into a wonderful destiny. Amen. 
In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. I want you to hold your hands like this. Pass me not to gent to say if you're humble cry why Lord no does that at calling do not pass me by hallelujah chapter 10 from verse 1. That's the time now. The Bible says, 1 Corinthians chapter 10, moreover, brethren, it says, I will not that you should be ignorant, how that all our fathers were under the cloud and all passed through the sea. How they were all blessed. This is how it happened. In verse 2. Verse 2. He said, and were all baptized unto Moses in the cloud and in the sea. Verse 3. And did all meet eat the same meat the same spiritual meat, and did all drink the same spiritual drink, for the drink of that spiritual rock that followed them, and that was that rock was Christ. Praise the Lord! They were enjoying the blessing of the Father that God placed over them, because they were baptized to Moses. Praise the Lord! The blessing of the Father is about to come upon your destiny. For fruitfulness, for glorious living. Thank you. Heaven told me for a destiny of uniqueness. 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 A destiny of uniqueness. Uniqueness. Listen, I was having a chat with a young chap. Whether well, Thursday of, I think it was Friday, was just gisting and stuff like that. And he told me that that project is progressing wonderfully. He said, but he did, has not told me that, no, 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 no. Not just that one. That God has opened up a large place, large expanse of land that in a, in a choice area, that many other things are coming up on it. I said, whoa, whoa, whoa. A destiny of uniqueness Amen. is coming upon you. Amen. Almighty Father, the King of glory, the most high God, I present each and every one of your children before you. Make these destinies unique. Lord Jesus, what they have been waiting for from this week, starting 11 a.m. on Monday, tomorrow, let them begin to receive it. Thank you. Do you know what to prove it? I'm going to be the first. I just heard that. I 
say concerning your destiny. What nobody in your family has ever attained, may you receive it. May your destiny never lack protection. Ah, for all the glory, let there be a defense. Almighty Father, in the destinies of your children, no more red light of stagnancy. No more red light of failure. No more red light of lack. In the mighty name of Jesus. Lord Jesus. As it was recorded in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, it said, All of them, let none be left behind. All of them, they did eat of that meal. All of them did drink of that drink. Let none be left behind. Me. Most I God, I thank you. Lord Jesus, every child that has become a serious source of concern for the parents, by your mercy, turn things around. somebody even the one that the situation seems to <laughs> seem shameful turn it around my lord turn it around my king almighty father I thank you The angels that follow the word to bring about a manifestation. Follow the word for a manifestation. Amen. We give you all the glory. We give you all the honor. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' name. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you have been richly blessed.